Thank you. We're on the bottom line of Nun Zayin and Medbeis. Now, these last two blocks, we have a little bit more. One, uh, The first number is about uh, the end of Aina, and then we have then we have Gishmak Asugi is about I mean, it's not Gishmak if we maybe not on this stuff. Aina's Dvorim causing people tsar with our mouths. Right? So, yeah, but we'll see. All right. Shemachinam in Anishpa, yeah? Bottom, second bottom line. Shemachinam doesn't swear. Yeah, meaning a Shemach, somebody, if a guy is being a Shemach of, of Hektish, so he doesn't, and something happens to it, he does not have to make a Shemach. Right? And when we don't ask you, so this is talking about Shkolin. So Shkolin, they, uh, you know, everybody used to have to give a half a shekel to the to the Beis HaMikdash. So they had a Shliach who, who, was, who brought all the Shkolin. Right? So what happens if he lost it? So B'nai Yair, Shoshok was Shekolin, so the, you have the people of the city that sent their shekels, with a Shliach, with Nignav And it got stolen or got lost. And then what's, so what happens here? Who's responsible? And if the truma was already separated, meaning what happened was is three times a year they would take they would take the uh they would take the chatzi, the half shekels and use it to pay for carbonus, etc. Right? So if they already did this, meaning when they went to Besdin, meaning the people of the city are saying the Shliach's responsible. And the Shliya is saying, I'm not responsible. So if the Trumas were already taken out of the buckets in the base of Mikdash, down to Meralev, then the, the, the Shimer has to swear to the people in charge of the money in the base of Mikdash because it was taken from them. That because he was, uh, that he has to swear that he wasn't a Peshea. And if not, then if not, then he swears to Bnei Ha'ir. And the Bnei Ha'ir will then replace the Shekel. Nimtu, Aishach Zirum, Haganavim. Let's say after this, the Shekels are found, or the Ganavim gave them back. They're both considered Shkolim, meaning they lose out, meaning the original Shkolim was Shkolim, and the new ones are Shkolim. Bain Island Lahem. The Shana Haba, and but it doesn't work for the next year. I mean, they don't get a credit because essentially what happened is that this town they ended up giving double shkolim. They gave the ones that got stolen or lost. Then they gave new ones. Then they found the old ones. Right. So it's all. Uh, it's so they have to give both, and it doesn't count towards next year. So what do you see? Why is the guy making a shul? We just got finished saying the Mishnah says that you don't. A shimer for, for Hektish does not make a shvua. And here we're saying it didn't make a shvua. So a shvua, shvua said, we're not talking about a shimer chinam. We're talking about a, he was paid. It was a shimer sacher. And what they're swearing for, they don't have to swear that they were on a poshaya. That they're not swearing for. But Lamai said it didn't do a job. Meaning they're coming with the shekels and they lost the shekels. And then they say, hey, but we want to get paid. So for that, they have to swear that they taka did their job. They want to get paid. So who's paying them? The people of the city. So what are you saying that you swear the, to the um, that you swear to the gizbarn? You should be meaning if the shekels or the truma is already taken, you swear to the gizbarn. Why are you saying? Why are you saying that? You should always swear to the people in the city. They're the ones paying you. You swear to the Bnei Ha'ir with the Gizbaran standing there so that they shouldn't be chayshed that these guys were messing around. And, uh, or, we could say, meaning if not or, meaning if you don't let the Gizbaran stand there, then they might just say, oh, here, these these uh, these shimer were scammers. Right? But meaning the Gizbaran, they're just standing there as as uh, how do you call it? Observers. That's what they're observers. Just to just to see that the guy's legit that he swore. Fine. But then the Gemara says, "But it says 
that it was stolen or got lost. A shomer sacher be gnev aveda chiyu be mechayev, and a shomer sacher is chayev be gnev aveda. Bachanami, and here too nehi the shlumi loy mishalmi, they granted right with sure that he's the, that how do you touch nehi yeah that it's uh that he doesn't get that he doesn't um that they don't have to get paid but a grayu me a lot less but they shouldn't not they don't the meaning their chayev a shomer a shomer sacher is normally chayev for gnevah aveda right so and a konami that they don't have to they don't have to pay right. They're not chayiv, meaning they're chayiv to swear, but they're not chayiv. They're not well, no, they're not chayiv to swear either, right? Meaning normally a shomer sacher is chayiv in gnev aveda, right? But here we're saying that they put it because it's hektish. So good, so they don't have to pay. But a grayu meal lifts it, but they shouldn't get paid. A vada they shouldn't get paid. So the Gemara answers, It's talking about where it got stolen with armed robbers or that their ship sank. Right? So meaning it's a total oinus, even though they were stolen. And we had this a few times, right? That if it's stolen in this way, it's a total oinus, and therefore, therefore they don't, they, they don't, um, they didn't do anything wrong. And never they could get paid. That's so. That's the first tarot. So the first tarot says is that the attacker there's no steer from shkalim because by shkalim the potter, right? Really, they're potter. And when it says to make a shvur, they're just swearing in order for themselves to get paid. Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan is a different tarot. Somebody Rabbi Shimon, he damer kachim shachai b'achu yuson yeshlan oinav in the shpayin alein kachim. That you are chayev and you're responsible with them, then there is aina, and you, and you make a shvur, right? So this is kachim that he that you chayev in the in achrayis. I mean, he's chayek on our mission. Our mission says if you have achrayis, you don't. We'll see it more at the bottom of the Amid. right? So if it, if you're responsible for it, then since since you're the one that's responsible, so then you have aina, and you make a shvur on it. So what it says, that's only if if they went to Din before the Trumas were given, so then he's responsible. <laughs> Once once the Truma was given, then they were they were meaning once they emptied out the buckets of the half shekel, then he's no longer considered Chaim and Achrayas. The Tanya Torman Allah of it. When they when they take the truma account from Kla Yisrael, they do the counting on, on people that their their shekel were lost, and if the shekel um they were collected, but they weren't yet, they didn't make it to the base of Mikdash, the Allah the stuff that's going to be collected. So you see, meaning even though basically what they do is they count you for as part of Kla Yisrael. And as if you donated your half a shekel, even if you, <laughs> even if it got lost, even if you you didn't even give it yet, and even if you gave it and didn't make the base of mikdash, they still have you in mind. So that means that the guy is not responsible anymore for it. Meaning the shomer is no longer responsible, right? So, so El Amar of Elazar, we'll get back to this in a minute. Amar of Elazar. It's a shvur. This shvur is a takonas chachamim shalei other mezalzim of hektish. We don't want people to be mezalzim on hektish because you have these shaymerim of hektish and they say, "Oh, we don't have to watch it properly because we don't make shvurs anyways." Since they don't make shvurs, so then they're going to, they're not gonna, they're not gonna treat it properly. So therefore, it was a takonas chachamim that they made them make a shvur. But really, in a chanami, like the din is like our Mishnah that you don't make. You don't make a shul. So this is a very interesting. I mean, I found it interesting because basically you're counting them, even though they, they weren't counted yet. We do this, and when I first heard this by the Mechiras Chametz, I, I I it threw me off. But that's because I'm not educated. <laughs> but 
basically, in our mechira, we what basically we tell the guy is that there are if there are people that normally sell the chametz with me, meaning each rabbi says, then even if they didn't come, we're counting them. Right? That's like the Arab Tavshilin that you saw Mech on the Rav the first time, right? Yeah, you get a one time deal with the Arab Tavshilin, right? So this I think this is similar. No? You're counting a guy. You're counting a guy who didn't make you a shliach. Right? So here too, you're counting people who didn't yet give their money. But you can count it. Right? So anyway, so that's what that's... It's a of Shalei I don't think this is a zachin. Well, I don't even. Yeah, I, I guess. My shkalim is a zachin. Stalin chametz is a zachin. I'm saying this is. Uh, um, how do you say? It? It's not here. What is it? You were saying that you gave the sh the shekel. You're gonna have to pay it back. No. Does the guy get yeah, counted? Yeah, the, the fact that it's counted is, is a zakhin. The fact that it's counted as if he gave. What? So when they tire him, it's a tire for him. So it's as if his is in. I understand. So let's say he doesn't end up giving it. He still counts? Yeah, the chayra. Okay. I mean, he has a chiv, but that chiv is more chayl than kaidish. Yeah. Like a halva now or something, whatever it is. I hear. Uh, okay, I'm saying if the, the Lushan is what? Said an osid lig voice, Mashma that if he's not, if he's not going to be osid lig voice, yeah, but it could be it's Mashma that that he's bedafka not going to give, then you can't count him. It's like Zogin oh. Adam, if you're giving someone a matana, and and you know that the guy will refuse to accept it, it's not, it doesn't work. Right. Oh, yeah. I hear. I hear you. Um, I think we had a case like that, Taka, didn't we? At the end of Abba Kama, there was such a case with, with two Tanoim, with two Amirayim. And one wanted to give the other, but the other one held Sainam at Tanis Yechia, so he wasn't Taina. I hear. I don't know. Um, not sure. Uh, okay, I hear. Um, okay, right. So nice as far in the mashal. We got the two dots here. So nice as far in the mashal. Right. So if a guy is normally he, he's paid to watch, so he doesn't pay anything. Yeah. Fine. So Rami la Rabbi Yosef or Chama la Rabbi. Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yosef had a stira to to uh, Rabbi. Rabbi Yosef or Chama had a stira to Rabbi. Tanan noises har in a mishalim. It says that if he doesn't pay, meaning if a guy gets um, he's a shomer sacher from hektish and he's getting paid, he uh, he doesn't have to pay if something goes wrong. Rabbi Yosef has stira. This is talking about the people that are involved with. With uh, what do you call it? Paraduma? So Paraduma had these wild chumras to make sure that it didn't become tummy, right? They have to make sure the kid was born on top of a rock, and and there has to be a total total shmir. So this guy was hired to be a shomer, right? So Asoycher 
as a poil. If somebody hires a worker, lishmar as a parah, he has to watch the parah duma to make sure nobody uses it. Lishmar as a or to watch the kid that's born on top of the rock to make sure he doesn't go off to become tummy. Lishmar as a or to watch the zrayim again for the for the aimer. Ain't nice and like Shabbos. We don't pay him Shabbos. Shabbos. Right, Lafika, ain't a chray is Shabbos alone. Therefore, since he's not getting paid for Shabbos, he's not an achray for Shabbos. Again, I, I don't understand this, but okay. Right, meaning he's a day worker, you can't hire him for Shabbos. He's not allowed to work on Shabbos. Are you schir Shabbos? But if he was rented out for the week, schir chaydesh for the month, schir shana for the year, schir shvua, or for a whole shemitah cycle. Nice and nice, Shabbos. And you do give him Shah Shabbos. That's what we call Havla. Right? That you're not allowed to make money on Shabbos. But you're allowed to, um, you're allowed, if it's going to be uh, swallowed up by the other parts of the week, then you do. Right? So, meaning if you're a day worker, you're not allowed to work on Shabbos. It's, you know, this common thing with hiring waiters on Shabbos for a simcha <coughs> or a babysitter. Right, to hire a babysitter on Shabbos. You can't, you can't, she can't work specifically on Shabbos. They have to do something for you during the week and they can't, they get paid that way. So, Mamela, um, this guy, if he's not getting paid for Shabbos, he's not responsible. And if he is getting paid for Shabbos, then he is responsible. So, his Shabbos is on him. What does that mean? The Achrayas is on him. My love, Lashalim. That means that on Shabbos, if he's watching the para and something goes wrong with it, <clears throat> then he has to pay. And our mission says you don't have to pay. So when answers, he means no. If he messes up and something goes wrong in Shabbos, so granted he doesn't have to pay it, but he's not going to get paid either. So when answers, the ratio that says there's no achrayas for Shabbos, does that also mean that when there's no, he has no achrayas, it means just that he's He's uh, he's not going to lose money. Umi is like schar Shabbos, but he's not getting paid. Is there schar Shabbos him? But Katani ain't no like schar Shabbos. Meaning you can't have it both ways. But in the Sefer, it says that he doesn't have a chrayis, and we're saying it means that he's not going to get paid. That means in the Rasha, it also. I'm saying if it says um, if it says in the Sefer that the chrayis means to get paid, so I mean in the Rasha no chrayis means means. I keep I keep mixing it up. In the safe it says no achray is so that mean and in no, no achrayis is not getting paid. That means in the ratio. No, you got it right. The safe says there is a Christ. In the safe the says there's, there's no achrayis. In The safe means achrayis, which means he's he's going to get paid, right? So if that's the case, then in the ratio, he doesn't have to. We're saying he doesn't have to pay. So if he doesn't have to pay. Right. So if he doesn't have to pay. Then, uh, then, not no, sorry, he doesn't get paid. He doesn't get paid. So if that's the case, so then uh, he's not getting paid on Shabbos anyway. So it doesn't fit. So Ishtigi was quiet. Amalei midi shmiel What did you hear anything about this? Amalei hachi am rav sheishes. Vishakanu miyada. It's talking about where he did take achrayas. He did a kinyan. He did a kinyan. A good old kinyan chalipin. He did a kinyan chalipin. And he said, I'm going to take a chrayas. It's somewhere where he was kind of miyade. Right? So, I mean, even though, which means that even though he was being shimer, the thing, and it's shimer for kachim, and he should be potter, but we say that he is chay. Because he was kind of, that is an interesting thing. How do you do a kinin chalipin with hektish? Normally, when you do a kinyan chalip, and so hektish, you'll have to pick up the pen that belongs to the base of mikdash. It becomes his, and in exchange, he says that he's being chayev, right? But I, when he picks up the when he picks up the pen from hektish, he's over on meila. Yeah, I, I was going to I was going to say that isn't it? That's chalip and mikdash. That that's that is mechayev yakor meila. Correct. Yeah. Correct. That's uh, right. So, how do you get around it?
that's a big that's a big tumble in the in the pile. How do you get around it? I mean, you can make tonight no, pick it up, but I'm not really being kind of it. Right? I mean, that's what I would think. Well, didn't we have yesterday that since the Gizber is in charge, for him it's like Kulin? So maybe the Gizber can give his own pen to the guy. I mean, maybe you should go with a brick. What are you saying? Yeah, something like that. One of the bricks before it's built in. Uh, uh, okay, I hear that. It's, uh, I hear. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. Okay, good. I should have thought about that myself. It's a good one. Okay. We said if the Kajim is he disagrees with with the sheet on top. Um No, he said he did hold like Rub Shimon. Right, so Shimon says, Kachim that you chive in the Achrayas has a law. Meaning, if you, which basically we said meant, if you make a nether that you're promising this animal, then I'm sorry, if you make, if you just say you're giving this animal, so you're just, you're not responsible to that animal. Something goes wrong, not your problem. But if you make a, a nether. That was a nadava. That was a nadava. Oh, really? Just... Well, it depends on how you, really, how you. Say so it. on this animal, it's a nedava. I was there. A lie is a, a nether. Right, that's what I, I thought. That's what I said. I didn't. Okay, so a, a, a nedava is saying that you're going to give this. This you're going to give. Well, now, now I got confused. <laughs> a nedava is you're going to give this animal versus you're going to give an, an animal. Right, so giving an animal is a, is a nether. You're responsible for it. Giving this specific animal is an adava, and you're not responsible. I Meaning, if something goes wrong, All right? So the Gemara is going to ask Tani Tana Kamidur of Yisov Barava Kachim Shachai Bach Yisam Chayiv. If he's Chayiv in the Achrayis, then he's Chayiv. Why? Shani Karaben Bashem Bekichesh. Because I read in the pasuk, if he if somebody lies against Hashem, right? And this is talking about. If you steal and you have to bring your chayev and asham, right? So it says, it says b'ashem bekichish. So if he lies about it, so then you have to bring a korban asham. She'ain a chayev achri yuson, but if he's not chayev in the achray, it's potter. Shani korban ba misoi bekichish, because we say it says if he if he lied against his somebody from his nation, right? And well, Bamisa Vikichesh. So it's not Hashem. So therefore, he's Potter. Right? So that's what we're saying. That's how you know if he's not Chayim and Achrayis, then he's not really going against Hashem. But if he's Chayim and Achrayis, and he denies that he is going, going, to, going against Hashem. Well, it says, Amalek, Klape, Lai, it should be the exact opposite. Right? If Chamistavra, on Tom Bedbeis, it should be the opposite, meaning if a guy has achrayas, then it should be considered his, not Hashem's. Because it's his responsibility. And if he doesn't have achrayas, then it should be considered Hashem's. Right? Um, right so that's, that's the one saying it should really be the opposite. Omar Lay, Isme, said to him, Should I erase it? Omar Lay, Loy, don't say it. This is really what it means to say, If somebody has Kotchip and he lies about it, right? the Shaymer lies about it, so then he is Chayev. This Rabu, me Bashem, the Kichesh, because we include it from the word Bashem, the Kichesh. But if he's not chayv and potter, the imit may be amisa bekichesh. It's being excluded. But it doesn't mean basically it doesn't mean that it's specific for this. It just means it's it's 
if it gets excluded from not if, but it gets excluded that meaning from the it's I guess it's more like the concept. I think it's more that that's it's not easy to understand this. But um if if a if the shimer is basically potter if if there's a, some sort of achrayas on it, because it doesn't have the same, doesn't have the same din. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, I mean, because the pasuk says malam mal b'ashem, so that means that it's only something that you're responsible for that's going to Hashem. But if it's not something that you're responsible for, then not, then you don't have, then then you're going to be put. Um. Okay, by the review the Heimer, Afa Michael Sefatara me um Margolis Ubehema ain't lem I know. So Sefatara, jewelry, and the Behema has no I know. What's a pshat? So Tani review the Heimer, Afa Michael Sefatara ain't lo I know. Even somebody who sells a Sefatara doesn't have I know. If he shain cakes, let them out. There's no end to its money. That's a literal translation, meaning. People will be willing to pay whatever they want for a safer Torah. So, therefore, it's not considered I know because you're not ripping the guy off. So, Behema, if you hold it, your Behema, this Behema is going to be a good Shidduch, right? So, then you're not, you need that specific animal, you're willing to overpay. And the same thing with the jewelry. You need that specific piece of jewelry. So you're going to be willing to overpay. Meaning you're doing it willingly. So you're not pulling the wool over a guy's eyes. But everybody wants that. Right? Meaning anytime somebody wants to buy something, he wants it. So why should we be running now? So when answers for Rabbi Yehuda, what does he hold? Hani chashivile, hani loy chashivile. These are chashuv, and these are not chashuv. So anything chashuv, there's no I know. Uh, so here's the practical shaila, yeah. Um, my kids went to a certain ice cream store in Cedars today. Rabbi, listen to this one. Yeah, very delicious. Uh, it's Yaakov. Yeah, yeah, three ice creams, three ice creams, fifty dollars, five zero dollars. Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky they didn't buy the pizza. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine how much that was. That would have set you back at one hundred and fifty dollars. Small pie. So, I mean, can you say that that's all you know? Don't go to yeah, buy. You, you could say it's, it is I know, but don't have to buy it. No, so there's three gallons. What did you get? Three gallons? No, you got six gallons, Rachman. It was really Oh, six. that's a good deal. Yeah. It was it was it was, it was it, it, I saw the cups. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's it was it's crazy. It's crazy. It's mamish insanity. But can you say that you're desperate for I mean is it so much? Is it so expensive? So you're going to say it costs a lot of money to cash the machines. Maybe. I don't know. But is that right now? Then maybe, maybe the rabbi who's doing that is... Forget cash the machines. He could buy a new set of machines. Maybe the rabbi who's straight doing out that is Ghana. Ghana. Is it Ghana? Is it a Ghana? Or maybe it means a lot to somebody to have his ice cream on peso. Well, it meant a lot more to your <laughs> your kids than it did to you. That's for sure. I knew I was in trouble when they said, Ta, "Don't we get money back for everything spent on Cholamayim?" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh boy, here we go." <laughs> um, yeah. So Yaakov, I bought a, uh, I think it's a half gallon of Abe's from Canada ice cream yesterday in Frankel's. It was nine dollars. You, I could have given. I would have given it to you as a batana. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have bought it off you for double the okay. money. Like, like, yeah, yeah. How much was it at Bingo? <laughs> Bingo, they were giving it to you free. If you, 
If you bought an orange, they gave you a half gallon of cold. I'm, I'm surprised you went back to Frankel's. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still in the middle of that internal debate, bro. I went there. I went there today to get stuff from my, the yard set. My father's yard set for Sunday. I went there today. Yeah, yeah. Isn't there a special line in Tefillah Zaka for such people? I'm Michael, everyone except. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I would speak to the guy. I think I once spoke to him about it. He's a shayosh. I mean, he dominates a shayosh. But, uh, he got an aliyah this morning. Well, now you know why. <laughs> maybe I have to use space. Maybe he schnutted money this morning. Probably dropped a donation. No, I was wondering why certain people don't go to the programs. Now you know why. They got a band there more. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not so sure, Taka. According to Rabbi, either way, I don't think we pass on like Rabbi Yehuda. So it doesn't really make a difference. But according to Rabbi Yehuda, can we say that this is Aina? It's the only reason why I brought it up. I'll tell you Alice. I don't know what's a tell you Alice, whatever. Can you say, can you say that it's, do you stretch it? Sounds like it. But the only thing is the next line. The only thing is the next line. Bad comma. Only up, and Rashi says double. I don't know if that's double his price. It's true, this is price is so expensive during the year. It could be it's not only double. I don't know. But uh, I'd could fly it. Right? That's why I said Ghana's. This is like triple the price. That's not like, no, that, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, so. Um... I don't know. And so is this also the head to why jewelry is so expensive and brand names and all that that they don't know I know? Can we say that according to the view though? Yeah, so I was going to ask about that. I know someone who spent about a half a million dollars on Mazuza cases. I told you not to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but his Mazuza is a $70 Mazuza. Robert, Robert, mm. you remind me of the guy who donates the money anonymously and then tells everybody anonymous is me. <laughs> That's a mahalach too. Right. You just change the L at the end of the word to an M. Anonymous. Right. There you go. So you spent so you spent more on the cases than on the mazuzas. All right. A hundred times more. But for him, is the safe attire really the the cover or the safe attire and then repeat his words? Okay, but I'm saying if that's what if that's what floats his boat, right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. If, can any person make anything a devar chashav? I mean, I don't know. If food you can make into devar chashav. Maybe it's only. I don't know about you. Speak for yourself. I make every food I eat into a devar. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a food guy, so I don't know. <laughs> I know you. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Come to New York. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know gold flakes on on your burgers and steaks and stuff like that. Avada, right? Um, uh, you as soon as you mentioned food, you got Paris to turn his camera back on. What do you mean? We got choose choose uh Wagyu meat market. Um, Robyron, you said you bought a piece of meat there once. It was yeah, hundred look it out. Yeah. But it's the delicious parrots, but, no, but you would do it again, right? I did it a few times, yeah. See, there's your answer. You paid what'd you pay? It was uh it was uh uh a hundred dollars for less than a pound. See, and you would do it again. Yeah, it was my Mr. Delicious, the best piece of meat I ever had. So but that's see, that's the thing. How I don't understand how it works. I mean, I guess this is the end of I know and the finances. Yeah, go, you're going to understand Matzah Shabbos when your kids go right back to that store. <laughs> I think Matzah Shabbos are going to text him. going to say, my kids are coming to the store. And they'll say, okay, just let them know. And they'll... <laughs> uh, but, uh, <laughs> um, but anyways, no, I'm serious. How do you set pricing then? So it's, I mean, we meant it's, we really had to discuss this the whole parrot, but now we're at the end. How does how does pricing get set that it's not enough? Meaning, if you ask me, so I say I pay a dollar for the ice cream, and you ask these people in uh, Lawrence Cedar, they'll pay a face. They're willing to pay fifty dollars. Well, if no one would buy it, they would have to. They would not open next year for Pesach. Meaning, if, meaning the clearly, clearly, there's there's an, people are buying it. Right. So then, wh- how can you say that he's a ripoff? Meaning, who sets the price of enough? 
It's it's not it's not a necessity, and yet people are still buying it. Right. So then maybe it's not a no. Meaning I just don't understand who sets the pricing for a no. I don't know, if, if if someone got Turkey Hill to run a kosher lepesa batch of every flavor next year, what would his prices be? Lamaisa. He knows good and well if Turkey Hill would run a batch that his prices would be five dollars a cup, not fifteen. Turkey Hill, those things out there be seven dollars, right? Whatever. I mean, you know exactly. How much does a 7 Eleven and Muncie charge for their hot dogs, their kosher hot dogs? I don't know either. I'm not willing to buy it <laughs> for many and reasons. More than ballpark? It's zicher more. It's going to zicher be more than the regular 7 Eleven. Uh, so, yeah, you, so yeah, you just, just send your kids in with the credit card. You'll find out in no time at all. Tell me, tell me about it. No, I don't look, Rachel. If it's painful, but yeah, <laughs> I, I guess the ice cream was painful too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, okay, but so I don't know. I have Mamish. Have no idea with all of learning, learning this whole parak for a week, the last week and a half. I have no idea how. It could how be for some, some people. It's all you know. For some people, it's not. For some people, it, 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 some people it, maybe for some people, fifty dollars is nothing. You know, maybe but, fifty dollars is nothing. Or, you know, I don't, I don't think it depends how much money you have. It depends on if it's more than a sixth of 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 the market price. The shaila is we don't we don't really have market prices because everybody sets whatever they want. No, right. maybe, the guy, maybe the guy's used to eating ice cream in Manhattan. Oh, good. And, What's and, that? and he'll pay a hundred dollars for three. What? And this is the Mitzia. Well, nah, maybe no, not. This, this fifty dollars for three ice creams is nowhere in the world that charges that much. I think his husband probably is. People are going out of their minds, Kalamayad, with things to do with their kids. So they'd rather spend the fifty dollars on the having it's an hour and a half by the time you, you line up for it and you choose which thing and you come back and you pack. You had an hour and a half trip, you pay fifty bucks. Well, Nothing yeah, to do with the ice cream. What, what is he selling? Yeah, it's a Kalamaya trip. <laughs> you can't say that I know is maybe it's based on location. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, to some extent, it probably is, but that's. But again, that is... Gershon, you're making the conscious decision to do that. In your mind, it's worth it for you. No, so that's what I'm saying. If 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 what I'm buying is a Chalamoyed trip for an hour and a half, then that's what I'm buying. I didn't buy ice cream. I bought a Chalamoyed trip for fifty dollars. So then maybe yeah. I can't. I know. I know. If my husband was that, I just want ice cream. Then maybe then then it's I know if I wanted to call a my trip, <laughs> what, what time do I have? Yeah, but the rabbi, you're saying, saying it's like going to the for fifty dollars for three when he when his kids got it, he didn't know that was the price. Correct. He wasn't okay with that price. Yeah, but he may have been if they had said we're going on a call my trip for an hour and a half, and it's going to cost about fifty dollars. Maybe that would have been a different story. That's what I'm saying. It it could be that you're buying something else when rather than ice cream. You're saying you're paying for the experience. It's buying a regular steak for twenty bucks, right. or going to a hibachi right. place where it's right. dinner and a show, and the same steak is thirty five dollars. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The the, the moisture is not selling. When we say there's a, I know we're, we're we're saying that the problem on the guy is selling, not on us. And the guy selling is not selling you the trip. He's selling you the ice cream or the meat, whatever it is, you know. So he doesn't care if you went on an hour and a half to get to him or he took you or you were next door. He's still going to charge you the same amount. That's, no, I'm uh, asking him. I'm asking him. I'm just saying that the taina of I know is from the Lakea, not the Mike. Uh, oh, I, I, I mean, the taina on him, on, on the Mike, but the taina is coming from the Lakea. Is that what you want to say? Right. Right, so if the Lakea has something else in mind, he bought a different, he bought an experience rather than ice cream. And Who's he has no the, China, I know. Who has the Avera? Well, listen, I called him a Ganef anyway, so <laughs> it is what it is. I get well, it. That, I, get that. I want a refund. I can't have a refund for something I'm willing to pay for. It. That's not, you know. That segues us into the next Sugi, so it's fine. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, let's see. It's getting late. So, bad comma. That's a how much, meaning how much can you owe? We did that already. How can they demand? Fine. Tanner, if you don't say, I'm a fan of the sus, the saif, the katitum, the mohama. Somebody during a war sells a horse, a sword, uh, a shield. You know, it's ain't lem. I know there's no, I know, even if she has been chai nefesh. Because that's something that's chai nefesh. I mamish. I don't understand this. So because he's in a war, because he's in a war, see, he's stuck. So like during COVID, prices can go up, and that's okay. That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. Right. So don't so don't read COVID. Say read Cholamayid. Right, really? so that's the question, David. That's a, and what about how about an airport? Right, so that's a chutzpah. Oh yeah, yeah. They get chutz, they, you got to get rid of all your all uh, all all your liquids and all that, and then they go rip you silly to buy a, a drink. And you're going to say, according to this, that it's fine. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I mean, there's a difference between this and the ice cream. This is absolute necessity. No one needs ice cream. I'm saying, but if it's an absolute necessity, so then why? Do you have a right to 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 rip somebody off? If anything, I would say I would say fuck it. Well, I mean, in general, so I maybe would say it's not that, that you're ripping them off. It's that the price is whatever the guy says is because it's high enough. There's no, there's no, there's no. You can't put a dollar amount on it. Right. So the buyer is involved. Also, the buyer for the buyer, it's priceless. So you charge me a thousand dollars more than it's worth. It's 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 meaningless that thousand dollars in that moment. Right. Um. I remember my father's father, Rachel Rachman. I don't know. You probably heard the story from him. It was July Fourth weekend, and he needed a hot water heater in the bungalow colony. And he found a guy in Muncie that had it because everybody was closed. Everything was closed. It was like I think a Thursday night. And the guy ripped off my father. I mean, he charged him double, triple with his hot water heater. My father went bananas on him. <laughs> I remember. He was so mad at this guy. It's like a yid is desperate, needs hot water on a Thursday night, and you're going to go rip him off. And buy- Oh, he went crazy. But according to this Gemara, I mean, it's not what's the problem. Uh, this Kumar is only talking about Hilkas I know, not Yasrus or Yiddishkeit. And Okhanami, but if it's Mutter, it's Mutter. You can't have Tainas on the guy. And also, is this Dafta Chaye Nefesh or your hot water heater? It's not Chaye Nefesh. Well, I don't know. I guess if you have. I didn't know your father. I don't know. I can't say. But... No, it wasn't for my father. He owned the bungalow colony. He was putting it for somebody else. Oh, for somebody else. No, he wasn't a Mephonic like that. I imagine he would have survived. <laughs> Wait, wait, uh, your father was mocked on, on the Gemara like five lots ago we had. Yeah, but that was really when you took it back. That wasn't Stam tining on a No, he guy. can't take it back. He can't take it back. He can't, he has no refund. But Yeshal of Tarumas. I hear. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I almost don't know how this stuff. Is there any Svarim, any kids of Svarim in English on this? I, I, I didn't look too hard, but there's a ribis, but I don't know on use. I don't know. There's not, I don't know if there's any. I mean, I would like to go on Lush and Kaidish, but for these things, it's much easier to understand the terminology in English. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, we got to go back. It's late. It's up to Mishnah. So now we're done with I know of money. Now we get into a lot of Musa for the next two block, the next block and a half. So Kashem Shaino Bemekach, Umemka, just like there's I know in business, Kach, I know Bedvarim, you could also. Cause somebody pain with words. Don't ask a person how much something costs. Who any writes in Lika? And you don't want to buy it. If a guy's about Shuva, remember, remember your Maisa. If he's a son of Gairim, it says, don't, don't cause any sort of stress to a Gair. Fine. That's all I'm not doing. I know it's the farm. I'm talking about the farm. 
So it says when you buy something from somebody or you or you uh, sell it, that's money. What does it mean? That's talking about words. Okay, it's not what we're talking about. If he's about Shuva, that remember, you know, your old days. Am I a Ben Gerim? Al Yom Lezachar Mazavisecha. Am I a Ger Ubalu Maitaira? Al Yom Lezachar Pesha Achon the Veil is a trafe for Scotsman Ramasim. You who ate trafe and bugs and all that, Balula Maitaira, are you going to come learn Taira? Shanemra Mipia Gavura? That said from, from Hashem. And another thing that and this people do, if somebody's having pain, or he's sick, or he's bearing his kids, don't say what Eev's friends told him, which is, they were telling him, they, they were trying to, you know, appease him. They were telling him, um, Maybe you should have Yerush Shemayim. That would give you hope, right? And your and your pure ways. But then they said, "Zachar no, mahu naki." Right? Did you ever remember? Do you know that there's anybody that's a naki? Is somebody who's clean ever get lost? No. Meaning, so it must be some of these punishments are because you're not such a good guy. Fine. So that's don't do that either. That happens. That happens. Oh yeah. I've definitely had people tell me that about my leg. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I had someone tell me once straight out, you must be a Russia. Right. Um, unbelievable. I think uh, sorry to interrupt, just if we could have in mind when I mentioned my sister before to have her for Shalema, they're rushing in for her in for emergency surgery right now. Okay. So What's the name again? In mind. Leia Bas Marissa Tova. Um, yeah, okay, so, so just, uh, anyway, um, not but anyway, she, your sister, your sister, yeah, Jesse, she's your sister, she didn't yes. do anything wrong, she talks to you, she helps you, she's a tzaddik, it has nothing to do with her. I don't know. I, I say Paker. When somebody goes through Tzorah, they say, you must be the biggest tzaddik in the world. No? Anyways. If the wagon drivers or the, the Hamar drivers want Tzorah, go to this guy and he sells Tzorah. And he knows that he never sold. I, I have no idea what that means either. What was he doing this for? To get at the guy to play a practical joke, or is he making him feel bad? Right. Anyway, fine. Um, Rabbi Yehuda Omer, don't don't uh, literally means don't hang your eyes on a mecca. Shoshen le don't you don't have money. I mean, don't do window shopping, which this is common now. You go online, or you're in the store, and you're you're checking Amazon at the same time you're in the store, right? And you're asking how much things are because you want to know when you have no intention. You're just going to go on Amazon, right? So what's all this for? Because these things are handed over to the heart. Anything that's muscle, it says, you should fear, you should fear Hashem. Right? And because there, Rashi says, Rashi seems to say that only Hashem knows what's going on in your heart. If you rip a guy off, so everybody's going to know about it. But if not, then not. Then if it's in your heart, then it's, then nobody's going to know. Right? Right? I know the is more than I know the which is then never by the erase of Melikacha. Is that like never by the erase of Melikacha? This one says you should fear Hashem, and this one says you shouldn't. Rabbi Lazar Aimer, 
Zebegufa, not shouldn't, but it says Yeresa Mashakach and the other one says it doesn't say it. Right? So and when it says Yeresa Mashakach, that means it's much more strict. One is talking about with his body, and one is talking about with his money. Right? This one's a little scary. One of them, you could give back the money. But if you embarrass somebody or stress him out verbally, you can never take it back. I don't know if that's where this thing of the Gezel Shana comes in, that you can never pay it back if he's still sleeping, which is not true. I mean, you can't pay it back, but there is no such thing as Gezel Shana. But here it sounds pretty scary that if you really upset somebody, so you can apologize from today to tomorrow. It doesn't take it back of what happened. Right, fine. Um, you know, let's stop here because that goes into Amid Aleph. We'll stop over here. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, you gotta stop the Shvichas Domen. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, murder is a Malava Malkus thing. All right, let's say a tillum. I gotta, I gotta run here. Shem as well lost off. Elihim Adam Ilach Atach Rosh Vatish Kaid El. Kinei Yevachu Yamanu Masenach No Suroi Shalam Chiyu Masov Yitzal Tzav Tzanach Amu Luchu Manatid Migoy. Elo Yizach Hashem Yisrael Eid Kinei Tzul Yivach Tav Alacha Bresi Froitz Ola Yadim Mishmael Amir Vakrim Kavav Amanu Vamali. Flesh 